Welcome to this video that demonstrates the new vCenter server polling feature that has been added in BMC Discovery version 11.1. .1. With this feature, you can be up to date with your vCenter environment even in between your scans. Events are collected when a VM is removed, renamed or moved. Depending on the event that occurs in your environment, patterns trigger additional actions to update the model in BMC Discovery. For example, when a VM is moved, the SI representing the VM is moved from the old host node to the moved host node. By default, event collection is disabled. With the vCenter polling feature, you can enable or disable events at a global and local level. The global level works with all vCenter servers, whereas the local level works with the specific vCenter server. You can reset counts. You use this option to determine the number of events generated for vCenters within a specific period of time. You can view detailed information about the events that are generated for all or a single vCenter. You can edit an event source to update parameters such as polling intervals. To access and configure event sources, go to the main menu on the home page and click on the administration icon. Then in the discovery section, click event sources. The main event sources page is displayed. To enable event collection for all vCenter servers, that is at the global level, go to the default vCenter line item, expand the actions list and click enable. You can view events generated for all vCenter servers or a single vCenter in your environment. To view events for all vCenter servers from the default line item, click recent events. The external events list page displays the events for all vCenter servers. To view events for a specific vCenter in your environment from the default line item, click collection status. From the software instance list page, select the vCenter for which you want to view the events. On the SI details page, scroll down and expand the actions list and click show events. The events collected for the specific vCenter server is displayed. You can edit an event source to update its parameters. To do so, from the default line item, expand the actions list and click edit. You can now edit the event source parameters as required and click apply. For example, you can set the events removal parameter to fortnightly, that is 14 days, which means that all events older than 14 days will be discarded. You can reset an event count to help you analyze and determine the number of events that are generated from a source within a set period of time. To reset the count, expand the actions list and click reset count. This sets the count to zero. You can disable event collection for any specific vCenter server. To do so, from the default line item, click collection status. A list of vCenter software instances is displayed. Click on the vCenter SI that you want to disable. On the SI details page, scroll down and expand the actions list. Then click disable event collection for this vCenter and click OK. The event collection for this specific vCenter host is now disabled. When disabling event notifications at the local level, remember that it has no impact at the global level, which means that if you reset the global collection to enable, the local collection is not automatically enabled. For more detailed information about the events polling feature, go to the BMC Discovery documentation on docs.bmc.com and click the Event Driven Discovery link from under the Using branch. Thank you for watching this video.